Okay, you uh, want to stay cool here in Colorado. Okay, I don't have too many ideas. I do have one idea. The first thing you do, you go buy a shirt and you cut the sleeves off. Throw the sleeves, no, don't throw the sleeves away, save them. This winter you can sew them back on. And then if you're wearing your hat, say like this, take your hat, tip it kind of up like this. And that way the, the cool air will kind of blow on your forehead and so forth like that. But other than that, I can't think of anything else unless you want to go swimming or something like that, you know. But I, I think the best way is to, you know, cut the sleeves off your your shirt. You, know, you may ruin a good shirt. Of course, this is not a good shirt. <laughs> it looks like a great shirt, Larry. <laughs> it is for me. <laughs> I always figured you could stay cool in Colorado because you just are cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. If you're cool, you're going to stay cool. Yeah. yeah, you can be a fool and still stay cool. Think about it. Works for me. Oh, yeah. It does for me, too. So what would you think on uh, keeping cool, Dale? Ice. Mm. Yeah, that's right, ice. Put ice in a bag, put ice in a pillowcase. I just love ice. I put ice in my mouth, ice in my hands. Yeah, no, that, that's good, you know, so, if, the ice, uh, if it doesn't melt. Yeah. yeah, you're okay. And sometimes when I'm at the drinking fountain, you know, I'll take a drink, of course, but I'll also run the water over my hands. Yeah, do that, and then, then you put water on your forehead. Yeah. And a lot of times if you're working, now here's something for everybody to pick up on this. If you're working, and your boss is around, take some water, splash it on your face, and it looks like you're sweating. Ah! Uh -huh. It works every time. Yeah, just to splash water on your face, it looks like you're sweating. Have you actually done that? Oh, no. <laughs> no, never. I never would, but, but it, it will work. It'll just work. advice for the next generation. Yeah, for the next generation. Yeah. <laughs> and the boss will say, wow, boy, that's you're really a worker there, you know. And how about when you're the boss? Are you able to see through that? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah because uh, I already know about it. So. Yeah. yeah. You can do that, too. And it also keeps you cool. Keeps you cool. Yeah. One thing I did in Arizona, it was like 106 degrees. Mm -hmm. it was, I was suffering. But we had uh, one of those Coleman coolers. Oh, yeah. And a certain amount of ice would melt. And mm -hmm. we would drain the water off so it was nice and cool. Mm -hmm. And put that water in a big pan, big tray almost. Oh, okay. And I would just stand in that. And you would stand in the water. That really helped. And that way you got your uh, your feet washed at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Did, did I say wash? You did. <laughs> washed is the correct phrase. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep your feet clean by washing them off. You gotta wash them <laughs> as you go to wash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, Larry, do you remember where I'm from? You're from Washington. I am. Yeah, you're from Washington originally, but now I'm living in. Colorado. Colorado. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> You've got me saying Colorado, and you're saying Colorado now. Yeah, I see. I can pronounce it now. Oh. Yeah. We've ruined your perfectly good language. Yeah, he really did. Because uh, I had it all perfected. And now you're trying to be a successful pretend celebrity. Yeah, and, you're... and being a pretend celebrity, what can you do? You know, need all the help you can get. <laughs> is that one of those shirts that uh, Chuck gave you? No, this is one of my own. Oh. This is one of my shirts that Chuck gave oh, me. Oh, okay. Would you like me to model it? No, that's okay. Okay. You, know, you, know, you don't have to. Yeah. Hey, you look, there's your other trick, iced tea. Iced tea, that works too. Where'd yeah. you get that? Iced tea, I bought it here a while ago, by the way, for you. <laughs> I'm always late. Yeah, I'm sorry you're going to be here at 2 o'clock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't tell him. It's 3 o'clock. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing you're not working here. They fired you. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I know, I know.